BMW's Super Saloon recipe has come a long way since the original E28 M5. In this series, we'll be visiting four very different circuits in the UK, all of them Evo favourites and home to our track day and evening events. Should be fun, so let's get cracking. So here we are at Alton Park, which I think is probably my outright favourite circuit in the UK. Why? Because it's quite a lot like the Nürburgring in places. There's lots of undulation out the back over there, some really tricky curbs to deal with, and the surface itself is really quite bumpy. So this M5 competition is going to need to be in the perfect setting to deal with this place. So let's give it a go. In this first film, because there will be others to come, we're in amongst some pretty enthusiastic track day traffic at Alton. And the idea is to take a deep dive into the M5's M menu and adjust the car's dynamics electronically to dial it into the nuances of this particular circuit. There are two red M buttons on the steering wheel itself, which means you can set the car up to behave quite differently at the simple press of each button. Within the M menus, you can alter the throttle map, the gearbox map, the electronic damper response, the steering response, and the way the diffs behave. You can even switch the DSC off completely, which then allows you to put the four wheel drive system in a more aggressive sport mode, or even to disconnect the front axle entirely and put the M5 competition fully into rear-wheel drive. So you'd normally reach for the button that switches everything off in a 625 horsepower M5 competition. And yes, you'd go sideways everywhere, and yes, you'd have a lot of fun in the process, but you wouldn't be very quick, and you would be really quite dangerous. But I'm not gonna do that today. The idea is to use all the M5 competitions, various electronic toys, it's E-diff, diffs, it's four-wheel drive in standard, remember? And just to see if I can really dial this thing into Alton Park. Because it's a proper challenge, this track. It's a, it's a belter of a circuit. As I said, it's my favourite in the UK, without question. This section up here is just wicked. It really is. So the settings I'm in, I've got the engine in Sport Plus, maximum attack. I've got the gearbox in Sport Plus, or S3 actually, which again is the fastest and the most aggressive shift patterns. I've actually got the chassis in Sport because this place is so bumpy and it is just still a little bit damp. Well, it's very damp in places. And these curves, which you do need to, to be aggressive over to be quick around Alton Park, you don't want a car that's really, really stiff on a lovely smooth circuit, like some of the others that we'll go to. Yeah, you want to dial everything up to as stiff as possible and have absolutely maximum body control whilst doing so. But here, today, I've just got it slightly softer, chassis-wise. I've got the steering in full beans, everything else is in full beans, but I do have the DSC switched on because it's a brilliant system but it, it, it allows you to get away with all sorts of stuff so that it just means you don't have to be an absolute mega hand to really really maximize the F5 competition you really do learn to appreciate how clever the electronics are in this car how sophisticated it feels as a result and how you know how it allows all sorts of drivers with all sorts of ability so just jump in and once you've acclimatized to the fact that it goes like stink I mean it's seriously fast the M5 competition and when you look at this car in the paddock it doesn't look like the quickest car here but it is 
it's also just really good fun. And it wouldn't be as much fun without the electronics. There you go, lesson learned. So what did we actually learn by taking the M5 competition to a busy track day at Alton Park? Well, lots of things as it turned out. One, that the adjustable drive modes really do allow you to dial this car in to different tracks. Even ones as tricky as this. Two, that you don't need to be a superhero to get the most out of the M5 competition once you've worked out which settings work best for you and for the car. And three, that the M car really has come an awful long way since its invention over 40 years ago. So join us next time at our next circuit. And until then, cheers for watching and stay safe.